good day my friends today I hope I will show you a nice video with some novelties technical novelties there are not actually novelties but I want to show you how it works uh, it, ha it has been probably done already but uh, I think it could be interesting uh, to have a look right now I'm talking about Visconti and their uh, filling systems especially of, of course their most famous one the vacuum power filler one not the double reservoir because uh, uh, the, the, the pen I'm going to show you is my Sonio Blue in stacked blue celluloid that you probably already know but I have some new peculiarities some special nibs that have been made by Mark Bagas on this range of pens as well especially Architect and uh, smooth cursive italics that's the main uh, reason of this video so but first of all let's talk a little bit about the uh, filling system for the first time i will show you the uh, famous visconti uh, traveling ink pot i have previously already filled it with water because i will make the try with water because i don't want to uh, ruin pants so let's take my own one and here it is sorry i have to have prepared this one to be filled so the usual procedure it's this one you unscrew the bottom and pull out the knob then you dip into the ink in this case it's water and a firm downstroke push then you fill a little bit you wait a little a few seconds for the ink to be drawn inside then i hope it will be visible because it's partially transparent we have filled the pan till up this point it's around uh, a couple of uh, centimeters maybe two and a half you would say this is not a good amount to you see all the entire body but the vacuum system is like this actually so you need to have at least half of the, the entire uh, reservoir uh, with the, uh, with uh, air otherwise the uh, the, um, uh, the variations of pressure and temperature could have leaks if the amount of ink is too much that's a compromise that you have to accept with this kind of filling system which has been pro uh, uh, an issue if we want to call it an issue that has been resolved in the past by Visconti with its famous double reservoir because the double reservoir had this uh, main purpose not only avoiding leaks when uh, when you travel especially by plane but to uh, make uh, uh, to allow this vacuum uh, system to be completely filled without leakings because you had that uh, chamber the little chamber that was separated from the big one to avoid any kind of leaks so you could fill the pan entirely uh, not just this part as I showed you uh, without uh, having the, without the uh, any fear of leakings so I'm going to empty the pan once again this way and then I show you the traveling ink pot I have previously filled it with water using this um, uh, drop uh, the zinc drop and uh, now I show you you have to fill it up to this level And then you insert the section of the pen in here, which is imbued in this, uh, this kind of uh, shape uh, with uh, rubber that allows you to insert uh, nearly any kind of uh, fountain pen, not only Visconti, unless they are really, really very big, oversized. Then you push it quite hard till, you, till the pen is well gripped and you put it upside down. You can see the level it's in here then we open up we pull up 
We pull out the knob once again and we do the same procedure. Hopla. And we wait a few seconds. Going to screw back the knob and then let's put it upside down once again and take off our pen. Now let me have a clean and let's see what we have gained. As you can see now the level of filling is more, it's nearly the half of, uh, of the pen and it could be even a little bit more because uh, this is a new pen each time you try the the pen will uh, will feel a little bit more and it it also depends each time on how uh, uh, the the stroke has been made more firm or more fast or less you will uh, learn it by experience by doing it and here it is so this was just to show you that with the traveling ink pot uh, you uh, allow this uh, system to to have a more uh, reserve of ink to fill it more than in the usual and standard way of uh, filling the pan. So let's empty it once again because now we are going to talk about nibs. I told you just a while ago that I have a few special nibs made. You probably, whoever follows me, knows that uh, I have been doing this uh, uh, nibs uh, by Mark for uh, now uh, a year and a half. I have presented those uh, mainly with uh, Leonardo, with Leonardo Pence, and so I wanted to include this range of nibs especially the most successful ones that has been that have been uh, the architects and the cursive italics on a highly a higher range of pens like this from Visconti so i have not so many because they're quite costly but i have a few of these and i'm going to show you how they write i will ask uh, patrizia to come here mm -hmm. down uh, uh, below uh, not below, side by side of me, because I'm gonna try this nibs. Let's use uh, uh, the new ink ink um, bottles from Visconti. And so, let's have it a go. This first one that I will show you, it's... I'll make a comparison among, among these two pens. Sorry, not this. Of course, I, I was going to may have a mistake. Here they are. Here you can see we have the standard stub nib, 14 karat nib, in-house made by Visconti. While, uh, let me screw it back more. Because this one hasn't been screwed back. And here it is, sorry. Let's compare these two. This is the cursive italic that the nice mark has been made for me. I'm gonna turn it up so you can see how preciously made has been this grinding work especially so let's have an immediate comparison among the standard Visconti 14 karat uh, stub nib and uh, what we have been done by Mark for us this nice uh, cursive smooth italic medium that this one has been grinded from a broadside nib, as you can clearly see. And I can absolutely tell you that it's an amazing work. The second one that uh, I will show you then, even the writing samples, of course, it's the famous architect nib. Here it is. Where 
you have this typical uh, shape because the, the, the tipping the tip of the pen has been grinded to obtain the architect uh, loving line variations where especially you have a very thin line on the vertical strokes and a very broader bigger one on the horizontal strokes to get a nearly night line variation and uh, uh, an, yeah uh, an expressive nice writing style that is what we are going to now test Let me dip into this nice blue ink by Visconti. And this is the Visconti. Corsani. Sonia Blue. Wow with a cursive smooth italic nib by Mark Beckes. Oh my friend I can't tell you how enjoyable this nib is. If it's fantastic. I have to tell you, I am riding with this for the first time. They have, these nibs have just arrived yesterday and I was, I couldn't wait to try them. This is on Rhodia paper. I will have a go with this one too. So Visconti, wow. It's so smooth and gorgeous. Visconti, Sonio Blue. by Corsani. Wow. It's wonderful. Smooth. Italic nib. I tell you, I have these nibs made uh, both on uh, 14 carats and 18 carats. Any one of you that should like to have uh, some of course can have it not only on this Sonia Blue even if they are meant to for this pen and uh, it, they will be available also on a little very few uh, little range on our next uh, exclusive edition with Visconti but so anyway send me a message if you want because I they have not yet uh, been uh, in, in, uh, included in the range on our website but they will soon be and now, one of my favorite, uh, the architect one. Let's see if Mark has done a good job on this one as well. So we have uh, Visconti. Yeah, Visconti, Corsani, Sonia Blue in uh, Stacked celluloid vacuum filler fourteen carat solid gold nib in this case with a wonderful architect. by Mark. Wow. It's really great. Really, really great, my friend. I can't stop to uh, really enjoy writing with this new kind of um, nib, nib sizes, really. Just one little more writing sample i hope you won't be bored i want to show you the classic this is the classic uh wow well, the classic uh standard stub nib 
standard stab nib by Visconti. Maybe I had, I had dipped a little too much, but it's it works perfectly well. But uh, the the exclusive and unique experience that you could do with this grinded nibs, it's really really something unique. So I hope I've tried to be as short as I could. Uh, but uh, really take a look at these videos because these nips are amazing and see you next time for another precious chat with me. Bye!